trainers, travelers, and battlers alike. alike. Welcome back to the Tempest Tango round three. As you saw in the previous video, which was round two, we did good. We did really good. We swept them under the carpet. And that's thanks all to our good boy, your boy right here, the Clutch Hydro Pumpin' Lantern. What a beast! He is nutso. Going into this third round, this is where things got interesting. Mistakes were made. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I did in all these matches that you shouldn't do. And it ended up, it really ended up costing me the the tournament, I think. Well, maybe, maybe not. You know, that, that, that could be up for debate, but it is what it is. And we're gonna learn from it. And moving forward, we're gonna really try and not make the same mistakes. Um, spoiler alert, I forgot to do all the screen recordings for round four. So it's actually gonna be a four part series um, of a five round tournament. And you'll, you'll, you'll get to know all the results towards the end. But waiting for this to load up, I also forgot to almost forgot to screen record this one. So you get the beautiful Niantic screen, but let's go ahead and dive right into this. I'm, I'm kind of feeling it with Steelix right now. And we're trying to peel away at this banana tropius. And I know we're going to get this crunch off first. That's not really up for debate. It's going to happen. You're not going to stop it. The crunch is a coming. I don't think he blocks it. Yeah, he doesn't. It's probably a good idea that he didn't. Because it's not really going to hit him that hard. But I turn around and make... The first real bad decision, I didn't block the leaf blade. That was mistake number one. The Skarm, I'm not really trying to farm. But I am trying to get rid of that Tropius, because the thing is terrifying. It's going to give me nightmares. Obviously, this this really isn't a, an amazing matchup for Skarm. The Sky Attack hurts Lapras, but especially since he has Ice Shard, which is a legacy fast move. And he has Surf, that's really not good news for Skarmory. Because Ice Shard's still going to hit, and it's going to hurt a little bit every single time. And Surf will just, it's such a strong move. It's so efficient with the amount of energy it requires and the damage output it gets. Look at that. Probably a good quarter, eh, maybe not a quarter. Pretty close to it, though. But a, a huge chunk of health. Um... I really didn't want to play games with the Lapras, and I had to put that energy that I built up to some kind of use. This is probably another mistake. I used a shield to block it to reserve the sky attack, and then I decided to switch out, hoping I could have a clutch sky attack moment later on in this battle, which, <laughs> which I think should have happened, but you'll see. So we're already getting some lag. I am able to get off this crunch really quick, at this point, it's really a good idea for him to shield it, which he does, because his trophy is, is, it's getting low. It's getting low on health. But here's where I get tilted off the face of the earth. I was pushing sky attack so many times, dude. What? What was that? And then out comes the quag. And the leaf blade just ends it. Just like that. Dude. I think things could have really gone differently if we didn't run into that issue. Yeah, I'm a little salty. It is what it is. But I didn't really want to cause a scene or make anything out of it. You know, we get the errors. It's, it's the game we play. Hashtag Pokemon Go. So I just decided to move on to the next round. Just to keep things going. I've been the reason before where some tournaments take longer and I didn't want to end up doing that again because we had community day very shortly after this and I didn't want anybody to be late, you know, on account of 
a stupid error like that. You know, the glitches suck, but live with it and move on. Now, here's another mistake I made was my lineup that I chose going in on the second battle with him. One, because he has Altaria. I should I should have brought Altaria, but I didn't. I didn't bring Tropius either. But looking at his lineup, I'm scared of everything he has. He's he's got the Altaria, the Scarm, the Lantern, the Legacy Lapras, Legacy Magneton, and Tropius. He has like everything that's on the top tier list for this cup. This dude was stacked. He had the dream team with everything. I had a meme team. Except my Celio. You gotta respect the spam master. Which I decide to bring it out. I'm like, you know what? Let's let's give the spam master let's give him a shot. Let's give him a moment to shine, see what he can do. Which we opened up good. This is a really good start for us. Because he's got the Altaria, which loses to Spam Master 2000. But then he decides to go in for the Legacy Magneton. I check. I have Skarm and Lantern. I'm like, this is not good. It's not good. Really, that, that was another mistake I made. Is I hesitated on the switch, which wasted time. He built more energy. I, I should have just gone for the Lantern. That's exactly what I should have done. I didn't do it. It was a straight choke. I choked on it. But I decided to end up going for the Lantern afterwards. I didn't want him to take too much damage. I really don't when my Lantern just comes out. I want him to be able to put in his work, do his thing. So we're able to take out that Magneton before he can get off another Discharge. Which is great. Because that move is nuts. It would have hurt. And he brings out the Altaria. Hydro Pump is not the best decision in this scenario. So... I'm going for the Thunderbolts, because that's going to deal neutral damage. But Altaria is going to resist the Hydro Pump. I thought I was thinking it was going to be Sky Attack, which I would have resisted, but he had Dragon Pulse. He knows what he's doing. He did his homework. Frampy Pants did his homework. And he did teach me a lesson. I learned my lesson very well. And really, I hope you guys can learn lessons from this too. Like, <laughs> use my failure as an example. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and use it as an example for myself so I can build up on it and we can dominate the next cup. We're going to be able to get rid of the Altaria. There's also no question about that. It's going to happen. He's going to get off a Sky Attack, it's not going to do much, and we're just going to Air Slash him to Infinity and Beyond. Here's another thing though, this is crazy. This was heated. This was intense, okay? we Neither of us have any shields left. I'm getting off the Sky Attack, but he has the Ice Shard Lapras again that he's bringing out. He's going to get to that Surf quick, which deals neutral to me. Look at that, I'm already almost dead. I'm like, there's no way it's going to be this close. Is it really, is this what it's coming down to? So I get off another sky attack. I'm praying. Look at that. 2 HP. Ah! <laughs> oh, it was good. It was good, though. This is what makes the, the tournaments fun, even from a competitive perspective. You know, I meet new people. I met Frampy Pants in person. Good to meet you, man. We've been friends for a minute in Pokemon Go, but I've yet to meet him. And I think it was a good way to meet for him to give me a whooping. <laughs> oh, this was good. It was kind of short-lived. You know, he killed me quickly. He put me out of my misery. I'm thankful for that. He didn't try and tease or BM me. Respect. Moving on to some better news. We finally got our veterans jacket. That's dope. We've been working for that for a long time. I'm happy about it. It looks good. Um, in the Twilight Cup, we did get first place. We went undefeated. But obviously, it can't happen every single time, right? Um, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. 
and enjoy some more content because after this, I'm going to be looking into the Kingdom Cup to see what we can do.